wiggle, wiggle. Like. All right, guys, hope you've been enjoying the World of Tanks Blitz episodes uh, slash movies so far because um, it's taking a little bit longer than I was expecting, but love doing it, love bringing you guys awesome vids. Uh, may not be able to come out with as much while I'm working on them just because each one of these episodes on average probably take me about three hours to do. Whereas videos like this take me about 30 minutes. <laughs> so, um, hope you guys are loving them. I'm gonna keep them coming. Sounds like uh, from the subscribers getting some good feedback, but also wanted to mix it up here. Jumping back into another episode of Real vs. World of Tanks Blitz. I did a few of these. Um, also got some good feedback. Um, did one on the Tiger, the Yag Tiger, the T-3485. And I've had a couple people. The next one on the list was the E-100. Uh, very interesting, I would say. A, like a lot of interesting things about this. And when diving in and doing research, there was a lot of things about this tank that were actually quite different compared to the one in Blitz. Um, I'm not a huge, I don't know a ton of stuff about you know my history, but it's really fun to compare and see how the tanks in Blitz compare to either the prototypes or the designs of the real tanks in history. This one, <laughs> I can see why World of Tanks Blitz made some adjustments uh, for the better, to be honest with you. Because if this tank were to be more spot on to how it was in history, um, <laughs> this tank would struggle at tier 10, and you guys will see why. So just to give you guys a little bit of background history, the E100 um, was never f completely finished. Um, there was a, cha a chassis that was found at the very end of World War II. That was about it, I believe. It was in competition with the mouse. However, Germany decided to go with the mouse um, to produce those. And the E100 originally was not intended to have the turret that you see in the game. As a matter of fact, um, I think it originally had that design, but after it lost against the mouse, they decided to do some changes to its design and put the mouse turret on it. And that has some changes. So from, I, from my research, this tank could have had this flat face turret, but I think in the grand scheme of things, it most likely would have had the mouse turret on it uh, with the mouse cannon. You do have that option in the tech tree. So there are some things that make it realistic, but here is where there's some decent differences. When you go in and look at the armor, the front plate of the turret is actually, from the design, um, is only 200 millimeters. <laughs> the one in Blitz has 250 millimeters. There's a decent difference in armor in the turret. And like I said, if this thing only had 200 millimeters of turret armor, this thing would this thing would have a <laughs> a hard time. Um, and now the upper glaze of the hull is 200 millimeters. Now that is spot on from World of Tanks Blitz. However, the lower glaze from the historical design of the tank was also 200 millimeters. However, in Blitz, it's only 150 millimeters. And then on the rear of the real turret it has 200 plus millimeters. However, in Blitz, it's 150 millimeters. So, from compa the, comparing the historical design to the one in Blitz, there are some decent differences um, with the armor. Going in and looking at the cannon, 
the cannon was actually fairly accurate in terms of penetration I was able to find. It's not a hundred percent. I don't think it's exactly spot on, but very similar. You do have these two options for these different cannons, and that actually was intended for the E100. So the two cannons you see in the game are the similar ones to what was originally planned for the E100. Um, yeah, in terms of like penetration and, and, and so forth. So um, in terms of like reload, I couldn't find anything exactly on that, but um, it did have these two cannons. Now, maneuverability and speed, that's where there also is some significant differences. You look at the historical E100, it did not have nearly as much horsepower as the one in Blitz. The one in Blitz has roughly around 1300 plus horsepower. The one in real life only had, and well, in the planned design, only was going to have around 700 to 1000 horsepower. Um, the engine power to weight ratio was going to be a lot <laughs> a lot slower. So the E100 in Blitz is actually a, a bit fast. So some interesting things to look at there. Um, all in all, quite interesting, but like I said, I completely understand why Blitz probably made the E100 a little different because, <laughs> like I said, it, I think the E100 would really struggle if it had the same exact specs. If it did, it would be, all in all, a lot slower in acceleration. It would not have as good of armor and would struggle. The lower glaze would have better armor, but that turret, especially with that big face, <laughs> you... You do want uh, some more armor there. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. This is Stud Muffin 1986. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.